Aw oh, man, you know when you wanna have sex but you don't wanna have babies? Like all the time, right? Well that's how most of us feel. You know, when we're not trying to have babies. And that's the case for most people throughout history. But your baby making bits don't listen when you ask nicely. Uh, no thanks babies, maybe later, you know, if ever. <laughs> so throughout history, we have done crazy things to try and stop ourselves from getting pregnant. Here are a few of those crazy things. Get ready to cringe and instinctively cover your junk while watching this video. <laughs> That's right, back in ancient Greece, a man named Serenus of Ephesus. Really? Sor anus? Is this a joke? No? Okay. Uh, who is a gynecologist? Really? A gynecologist named Sor anus? Okay, someone throw up a page that, so that they show that it's a real name, because I didn't make this up. All right, so Serenus recommended that women do the squat and sneeze after sex. So people would somehow make themselves sneeze, you know, like with pepper or a feather. I don't really know, and squat to try to get those baby juices shooting out of you after intercourse so that they wouldn't be able to stay too long and make a baby. I can only imagine how popular allergy season was to the general public. Anyway, it wasn't a very good birth control method. This method dates back to the Talmud, where women would cut a lemon in half and put it in their cooters, kind of like a diaphragm. The lemon juices were supposed to kill the sperm, and the lemon rind was supposed to stop the little sperm survivors. Apparently, Casanova used to insert lemon rinds up the ladies before they did the nasty nasty. Imagine how lemon feels when it squirts in your eye and stinks, and then imagine how it feels not in your eye. Oh, no thank you. That's right, the stuff that makes people go crazy Mad Hatter style? Well, in ancient China, women would heat it up and drink it to prevent pregnancy, which I guess sort of worked because, you know, it causes organ failure and death. It's hard to make a baby when your insides have been poisoned. Ancient Egyptian women used crocodile poop mixed with honey. Adding honey does not make it less gross, but that's what they did. And smeared it inside. Hypothetically, it was supposed to affect the alkaline in the lady's vagina so that it wasn't a nurturing place for sperm. So everyone would have sex with a nice mush of crocodile poop sandwiched in the middle. What a threesome. Back in ancient Greece and ancient Rome, women would drink water left over from a blacksmith, or really anywhere with a nice tang of lead. But the blacksmith water was the easiest leady option. You know, because it also kills your insides. Even during World War I, women would sometimes purposely take jobs working with lead-based materials in factories to get a little free birth control. And poison. Because, let's not forget, lead is poison. But at least it's not a baby. Before Summer's Eve, Coca-Cola had the market on douches. In the 1950s, women would shake it up and spray it up after getting it up with their guys. It was believed that the mix of sugar and carbonic acid would explode the sperm and that the carbonation would get it all up in her cha-cha. Coca-Cola, you're not even good for our teeth, so I can't imagine what you did to the lady bits. Or the polar bears, for that matter. It's not just ladies who had to deal with the stupid, crazy birth control, although honestly, it was mostly ladies who got the most deadly birth controls. Before the modern latex condom was made in 1919, guys were using alternative materials for condoms 15,000 years prior. But guys had some crazy ass condoms. Animal intestines, animal bladders, even tortoise shells. Ouch! How is that pleasant for either party? So, condoms really consisted of whatever animal parts would fit around a peener. There are a ton of other crazy birth controls that have been used in the past, but I only get a few minutes to tell you about a little bit of the crazy. And at the end of the day, people didn't want babies until they wanted babies. So, the same as today. Although, there could still be more birth control methods for guys, but I guess Soranus didn't think about that. He just wanted us to jump up and down a ton. Yeah, maybe Soranus was a little butt hurt because he couldn't have babies. You're fired. What? No. No, I had to make that pun or it would have poisoned me from the inside out. Come on. No, I disagree. Please. Come on, we're wasting our time, let's go. It was worth it. Okay, so, no, Soren, I want Soren for this. What do you mean, he can't? Okay, uh, Cody, what's Cody doing? Like and subscribe if you like this video and also comment below on how why I shouldn't be fired, okay? Yeah, Cody. Yeah, get Cody down here. All right, good.